How's it going guys? My name is Michelle and uh, welcome to another tutorial from Jenna for Noobs. Today we're going to learn how to create a project structure uh, if you're st starting to um, use React as your front end so, uh, with Django. So I've been struggling for this, uh, struggling with this um, project structure for quite a while and this this blog uh, really helped me. So what I'm going to do is um, basically follow this blog and uh, at the end of the blog uh, I'm going to show you how to automate um, building the um, UI and then uh, running the Django server so that's, that's going to save a bit of time so I'm going to close this so I'm going to create a um, project um, I'm going to create a virtual directory first virtual environment uh, activate it and install Django. It's going to take a bit of time. We're also going to use Create React App um, to create our React App. Um, if you don't have that installed, uh, I suggest that you do. Um, so let's create a project called Project. Very basic. Let's go inside Project and let's create our create our front end app with create react app and it's gonna take a bit of time um, so while this does its work uh, I'm gonna tell you the concept behind uh, working with react and Django there are a lot of um, setups that you can use but the one that I'm using I'm gonna create the react app over here and I'm gonna build it into a folder which is going to contain the template file and uh, other static files and then I'm going to add that folder and the reference to that folder to Django um, through the settings.py uh, file uh, I'm going to show you in a minute how and that's basically it and uh, at the end I'm going to show you how to automate the building process um, by you know, writing a few lines of code in the manager.py file so this is almost done. Uh, once it's done, we are going to check whether the app has been installed correctly. Um, they already tell us how to do that. So cd front end and then npm start. So the app is running correctly, and um, so that's that's good. Um, we're gonna go back and we are going to start Visual Studio Code. So over here you can see the front-end um, app has um, three directories and a few files over here so that's basically generating from the source and the public you have index.html um, those files are generating this uh, UI right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna Let's go to front end again and then we're gonna say npm run build. So what this is going to do is create another folder called build, right? And once it's done, we can see that it has a number of files. So this basically uh, gives you the same output, the index.html inside the build directory gives you the same output as this one. So this one is just um, while you're working on your uh, React app or React UI, and um, every time you make a change, you have to run this command um, npm run build, and then it's going to update the build folder, and then that's going to get uh, pulled from the Django app. So let's get, go back to our Django directory, project root, and um, let's see. Let's see if this let's see if this runs correctly. I'm sure it will. So yeah, so Django runs correctly, everything's fine. Um, so let's do some coding in settings.py. So in settings.py, we have to tell Django that we have a template called index.html, but index.html is within front end and then build directory, right? So that's what we're gonna say over here. So we're gonna add os uh, join base directory. 
uh, go to front end and go to build and over there you can find index.html so we're going to ref uh, write a reference to index.html pretty soon so you can also see that inside the build folder there's a folder called static that holds our CSS, JS, and media files so we're going to add that to our static files dir's list do the same command basically base dir and we're going to go to run n and then we're going to go to build and then we're going to go to static so that's it those are the two references that we need to make so um yeah so let's go to the project urls file and we can have um, a number of URLs over here, but at, at the end we're gonna have we're gonna um, create a wildcard format and capture all the other URLs to route it to the React app. And how we're gonna do that is by importing repath and we're gonna use that to say um, that we want to run a template with the template view so let's let's generate for template view so with this class based view we are going to um, we're going to run index.html right so that index.html is from here and since this build directory has already been added to the templates directory so this will be uh, available with just the file name let's go all right um that's it um in the urls.py let's just see what happens over here yeah you see so we have our react app exactly as it is like from localhost 3000 right this is the uh, react app from the uh, original folder and this is the App from the build this is the uh, UI from the build directory so let's make a change in let's say we want to go to public index.html um, so let's let's go to get bootstrap uh, we go to get started let's say we copy the starter template right and then we paste it over here before I do that you can see that there's a div id root we need to have that over here so I paste the whole thing and then just before hello world I'm gonna say div id root so that's for programming reasons you're gonna uh, see why um, once you start working with it so once we save it we can actually run it I think over here so let's cancel the Django um, server and then let's start the npm start um, react server so we come over here and you can see that it's reloading because it has already detected that there's been a change and it's showing hello world right okay so we can come back to the Django server and we're gonna if we start the Django server and uh, refresh it we're gonna see that it's still the same it's not gonna change and uh, reflect the change and bring the hello world text over here so what we can do for that is oh, I'm sorry um, we need to get go to the front-end uh, react app and then we need to run npm run build so let's just wait for that so what this is doing is it's again building the whole app and put it putting it in the build directory and that's going to get pulled by the Django server right so let's get back and run the Django server oh this is not this is it so you see the text is over here now so we need to automate this um, if you want I think it's a good idea while we're developing so um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to manage.py 
we even write a bunch of codes over here so that um, that take that um, um, all these uh, building and then running the uh, Django server again it's automated so first of all what we're gonna do we're gonna capture the project with, with OS get current working directory we call it okay. next we say we change directory to um, project root front end right we go to the front end directory and then we run npm run build all good all good um mind it the sys.argv has all the arguments of uh, managed py run server in a list so this is index one item number one in the list this is item number two uh, what we, what I want to do is I want to provide another argument react and use that as uh, a condition on whether to run this uh, npm build or not and since this is not a valid Django uh, or you know run or manage the QI uh, management command or argument we have to remove this after all this after all this um, code are run so that's what we're going to do this is react is um, index number two in the list sys.rv list so um, we're gonna say we're gonna say sorry about that we're gonna say if sys.rv index two is react then we run this right so we go to front end folder we run this we come back to change dir to project we come back to our project root and then you know execute um oh and then we um say start or we pop the index to item which is react and then the command is back to manage.py run server and then this line executes that there's a problem i think Try this before. Let's see if this works. There's a problem that's going to show up. Uh, so I save it and let's say I run server react. It's going to say um, CJ takes at most one argument to a given. Which one? CHDIA. Oh, so I get two arguments. Uh, I have to join this with this. Cool. So, so it's building. It's going to the front end directory is building and then it's going to come back to the project root and then it's going to remove the react um, what do you call that argument it's taking a bit of time let's see building is done look um, it says um, for in this line if says dot rv2 equals to react index error list index out of range so it cannot find react or uh, it cannot find um, the argument so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to put it in a try except clause so it should try it and accept index error right if there's an index error we run this command anyways else if there's no index error we run this command anyways I don't know if this is the right way to do this I think I should give pass over here but yeah, I think I should give pass over. I'm not sure. Let's see if this works. Um, so I think I'm gonna take a bit of time because it's gonna build. And you only run. Uh, you only need to do manage the PUI run server React if you make a change uh, in the UI in the React app. Otherwise, there's no point. Yeah. yeah it does work so let's see if it works if we make a change to the react app so let's go to public index.py let's just say we change hello world to hello h1 all right so obviously this didn't take effect so i'm gonna close it i'm gonna say run server that's not gonna take effect because we didn't build it right we didn't build it so we're gonna do run server react 
so that it automatically builds it and then runs the Django server. Um, I hate waiting. I don't know if it's my old computer or what. It takes so much time. There you go. It built the uh, React app and then um, that's hooked up to the Django static file itself. Now I can see the change. Um, so that's about it. Uh, the last part over here that I've shown you. This part, this part you won't find in the blog that I've followed over here. Um, but other than that, this is a good blog. If you if you are a reader, please uh, give it a read. Give it a applause over here. Um, this is a really simple React Django tutorial. So. Kudos to that guy, and um, that's it. If you if this tutorial has helped you, please like, subscribe, and share. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you again <laughs> sooner than uh, the last time. Bye.